all aboard the Glacier Express in Switzerland. This morning I'm checking something off my bucket list going on one of the best train rides in the entire world but there was a little change to our itinerary so stay posted for now we are maybe heading for coffee yeah. and like it is almost 7 30 in the morning and like Zermatt is sleeping there is nobody in the like, street it feels like it's 4 a.m. our reception is closed. What is this down? <laughs> slight change to our itinerary today is we're taking the Glacier Express. That was always meant to be. However, there is a section where they're blasting rock or something on the side. So where the top is panoramic glass, unfortunately, in case a rock were to come, we can't take that train for, I don't know, the first two legs of the journey, I think. So we're taking a shuttle to Tosh, and then we get off at Tosh, and then we take a bus to Brig, and then we get on the actual panoramic Glacier Express train at Brig and continue our journey. So make sure to follow along, especially if you want to go on the Glacier Express one day, because apparently like it's not uncommon that these things happen. So we'll see what the first leg of the journey looks like. to Tesh, the first stop. Now I think we're taking a bus because one, uh, one part of the track is literally closed off. So we finally made it. The Glacier Express just came into station. I am so excited. I'm looking into the train. It looks so, so nice. And the mountains, the background is just stunning. Welcome on board. didn't even start the journey yet and it is already beautiful. We are surrounded by a mountain covered in snow. I mean, it's already magical to me. So now we are just waiting to depart. And in the meantime, here are some fun facts. First of all, the Glacier Express is almost 100 years old. Second, it is the slowest train in the entire world at an average speed of 24 miles per hour. Oh, I thought that was bad, actually. Just across the, uh, the border in France, the TGV goes 357. So, you know. That's much faster. Well, it's called a scenic train, okay? <laughs> and we're off. So train have a very special place in my heart, mainly because of my grandfather. So back in the days, he was actually working for the CN, which is a Canadian national, a massive uh, train company back in Canada. He's the one who brought me my first train set when I was a kid, and I became so upset with that train set that I wanted to go on a real train. So one day, you know, in the middle of the week, before uh, I started school, he just brought me on a train from Montreal to Toronto. It was pouring rain, I remember it. I was like, I didn't have much to do on the train, so he bought me this little magic trick that I played with the entire ride. And yeah, we just did Montreal to Toronto, Toronto back to Montreal on the same day, and that was my first train ride. So the place we're riding through right now is picturesque of winter. All of the trees, all the limbs are coated with like a fine dusting of snow, and it's just perfect. This train ride is supposed to be one of the most scenic in the world, but we've been in a tunnel like no joke for the past 10 minutes at least. 
not very scenic to me. So we're still in the tunnel, but basically when we booked this, you can book like excellence first or second. We did choose the second class, and then you can do add-ons like two, three, or four course meal. We did splurge and do the four course meal, and our first course has arrived. It's a soup. I think it's like a squash walnut yeah. soup. I don't know. We're gonna find out. It smells and looks fantastic. We're finally out of the tunnel and we came out to a stunning view. So we just arrived at the Undermat uh, station. Some people are getting off, some people are getting in. We're just hoping that Tracy and I can keep our little uh, four-seater set up uh, just for ourselves. So for lunch we had some veggies and some spatzel oh, and some chicken with like a creamy sauce. Really and to get the sunglasses out I feel like we didn't really see the sun, at least not directly, for like three days. But it's here now. Welcome to the bathroom of the most scenic train in the entire world, the Glacier Express. We have a nice little sink, wood finish, stainless steel toilet, easy to clean, and that's pretty much it for the tour. I don't know if it's pineapple or citrus or something, but it's just really light and cold and refreshing and like moose. Really good. Honestly, a big shout out to the waiting staff, like serving food and liquid on a moving train. That's quite a skill. Fun fact, the Glacier Express actually has like unique wine that you can only buy on the train and we got one of those. Sadly, it's not the best, but I'm glad that we tried it. We had to try it while we were there. To be honest, like I feel bad for people living in Switzerland because this place is so beautiful that means like no matter where they're going in the world, they're never impressed by anything. I think we kind of summed it up too. Namibia is most diverse because mm -hmm. before it was like Namibia most beautiful. Most diverse and beautiful, however, Switzerland is just overall stunning. Especially in winter. And like, Lalibela too. Yeah. Those right places. now we're like in the middle of nowhere Switzerland. And like it's just surrounded by beautiful mountains. The architectures of the building is just so stunning. The yeah. trains everywhere. I just love it. <laughs> we're just going through like a little town and it's crazy. Like here it's like summer. The grass is green. There's no snow everywhere. But then in the background, snow everywhere on the mountains like it's such a weird scene also pro tip on the glacier express and most train actually here in switzerland if you want to take good photos or videos in between each train there's actually windows that you goes up and down so you don't have the glare of like the normal windows inside the train so we are just waiting by the window because we are about to cross the Len Wasser Viaduct, which is part of a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It is 65 meter high and 100 and 142 meters long. Um, it is one of the most scenic bridges in the entire world. So I'm just I'm just waiting to get the shot. I say I have no desire on getting off this train. So we are on board our next train, which goes back literally three hours the same way where we were earlier. So this last 
leg of the Glacier Express was extremely counterproductive for us. Now, yeah. let's talk review prices. And tickets. I and promise tickets. in the last video we talked about tickets in this. Okay, um, I think we need to talk about review first. Okay, so let me tell you, this is the most beautiful train run I've, I, yes. I've ever seen in my life. I couldn't expect nothing better. With that being said, service lacking. The food, I would write like a 5 out of 10. Yeah, the food is not Nothing. worth the price. Because you how, pay, sorry, how much was the, the So food? that's what I was going to say. It was 105 francs a person for a four course meal. But I can't say it lives up to that price. And that's just keeping in mind that like Switzerland already is very expensive in general. Yeah. But we were I kind of expecting think... like fine dining, which it was more like a home cooked meal feel. Yes. It was good but not worth that amount of yes. money at all. And I don't know if the service would change if you were in first class, to be honest. So we were in second class. To break down the way that you do the tickets is you have to pay your train ticket, then you have to pay a 99 franc reservation fee, and then you can add your food on top of that. I would say if you're planning on getting food, you need to book that ahead of time. A lot of people ask for food and like they, yeah, didn't, they didn't have, have any, any on board, which was really, in my opinion, if and it's that honest, expensive for a train. Do not pay for the food, bring your own food. You're allowed to, you can bring yeah. champagne, wine, yes. cheese, bread, Anything. whatever you want. So like yeah. bring your own food, you're gonna save a ton of money. It's probably gonna be better. Yeah, so for tickets, what helped us is I actually bought a three day Swiss travel pass. You can only buy that if you are not a Swiss resident. And what that did, it allowed us to get the ticket price for free. We just had to pay the seat reservation and then for three days, unlimited trains around the country. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. So I know maybe this sounded like a lot of complaint, but I swear like no. overall an amazing experience. We're just do doing the, a honest review. Yeah. Do the train. Train is fantastic. It's just the food aspect. Yeah. Bring your own food is what I would say. And service. Yeah. A lot of people around like ask they for just things. They took for I, They were forgotten. Yeah. And anyway. But the view itself, the train itself, does live up to the yeah. hype. <laughs> so anyway, that's it for us. We are back yeah. to Zurich tonight, um, flying to Canada tomorrow. And until then, see you guys in the next one.